Yo, Steven Lai here, and this is Asha. For the very first time in a long time, he's back with us, the co-owner. Where have you been, Asha? Where have you been? I don't even know. I'm just, I'm a tiny little bar right now. That's where, I think that's that's what matters the most. Yes, that's yeah, very this true. awesome appetizers in front of us. We have multiple, clearly not just one, multiple. So different flavors, different textures, different dishes, which is the beauty of these set of appetizers. So um, let's quickly run down uh, what type of dishes. So this is uh, Thai wings, and then we have this is your dish. This is uh, some type of chicken dish, but what is it? Crispy chicken, Thai crispy, crispy chicken. chicken. Yeah. And then we have pork, uh, barbecue pork, to be exact. Along with it, we have some veggies, cabbages, Thai salad. I think. It's yep. Uh, which is pretty nice because think about it. I mean, in terms of, uh, I mean, these are fresh. So temperature-wise, they're, they're hot. So then we got a salad to keep it cool for, for, for us at least, you know? At least to switch it up for a bit. Exactly. So let's dig in. Let's get some chopsticks. Word, word, word. Yo, just say, yo, just say for that, so I'm horrible at chopsticks. Really? I am horrible at chopsticks. So this is going to be a great video. Oh, man. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Look at me, dude. What do you want to try first? We should go down the line and go from like left to right. Alright. Make him fire, man. Yo, this video is supposed to be yo, this video is supposed to be fire. This video is supposed to be fire. <laughs> right, we're making <laughs> Alright. That was so funny. Um, what do you want to try first? So I definitely want to try the wings. Well, you're gonna pick up the wings with chopsticks? Why not? Just grab them. <laughs> Let's see. Smells awesome. Definitely a lot of crisp crunch. I know that's not gonna focus at all, but it's awesome. Oh, uh, dude, I was gonna say toast. Wing oh, toast. Right, right, right. <laughs> wing toast, dude. Okay, wing, wing toast. toast. Mm. So, that's awesome. Right off the bat, it's crispy. It's thin crisp, though. So often, fried chicken, sometimes it can be very thick layered. It's so like a hard crunch, thick layered chicken. But however, this is very thin. So when you bite to it, it softly sinks into your teeth, which I really like. This is really good. I gotta say, I love fried chicken. This is good fried chicken. I got you. No, never mind. Ready? Yep. You gotta do the sauce. You gotta do the Boom. sauce. So, this is literally like my favorite restaurant ever. So now, I definitely want to point out the biggest difference between this dish and that dish is that texture-wise, right? Definitely the texture. So this right here, skin-wise, it's very thin. Like I said, you can you can easily uh, easily sink your teeth into it, into the, the food. This right here requires a bit more chewing, which is perfectly fine because it's crispy, crunchy, crispy, which I really like. Out of these two, which one do you like better? I think. The wings I like a lot better simply because it's great for like by itself. This right here, it's great, but like you said, it needs rice. Definitely be amplified with yep. yeah, some rice, yeah. I always do that. I gotta do the crispy chicken with the fried rice, so I guess that's a must. So maybe we're gonna have to do that a little later. Anyways. But it's she... like it's like when you have the rice, it's like you get the best of both worlds. It's soft because of rice. It's crispy because of the chicken. So different textures equals perfection of flavor, texture of everything, just of all above. It's so good. I would like. I want another piece, but at the same time, I also want to try some of this too. But I could literally eat that all day. I want another one of these. Dude, too. dude. Every single time, whenever I see, uh, like, whenever I see you at the studio, it's you like with like noodles with crispy <laughs> chicken or like rice with or rice with crispy chicken. No Every matter day, what. No, no matter, matter what. what. It's a, it's, it's a staple. Make sure you guys come check this place out. Thai little bar in Quincy. Got awesome food. If you guys love Thai food, the menu is very diverse. Spicy food, mild food, all sorts of different appetizers. You guys see, we're like really enjoying this. And this salad is like super spicy. Did you oh, try really? it? No, I haven't. It's like, it's not even like that spicy. It's like a very like mild, but it's got like a little kick to it. It's pretty good.
Oh, wow. That's awesome, right? That's awesome. You know, that's, uh, that's the good thing about coming here and trying new, new food. Like, you know, I haven't tried this before. Yeah, I haven't. This is awesome. You can definitely feel the heat, but you can also feel the passion for the cooking as well. The wok are normally traditionally used by Asians to cook certain dishes, certain meals. So right now he's cooking chicken lao mein. As you can see earlier, he had oil, he added egg, and now he's adding all the other variables, all the other important ingredients. Wow, look at that. Look at that. So beautiful, so majestic, the way he just flips it easily. And so now, by him flipping it, he makes every single part of the noodle, the, the veggies, the chicken, even out with, with a sauce. Now this is the final outcome, right here. So, the curry dissolves within two or three minutes, and then that's where he mixes it up, stirs it up. The, the chicken, the beef, how long does it take for long for it to marinate? Uh, I could even do like a, a one night. One night? Okay, right now I'm here next to the owner of this restaurant. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Yeah. See, I think that um, I think that sometimes I mean there's something wrong with it. But sometimes some 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 cooks or some chefs would like try to adapt a certain a certain style that that they're not used to or like they're not meant to do. You know. So for example, some. Some Asian dishes, some Asian dishes are Americanized. You know, it's not the same as having a, a real Asian dish. So, like I said, like the beauty of having these dishes is that it feels organic, authentic, traditional, real dish, which which I which I really appreciate. And like yeah, I, flavors, like we don't have, you know. But exactly. If you go to the burger place, you can't get yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like almost weird that you can go and get like chili sauce at McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, not, it's not even good, like this is the real stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do that, you know, going to Please, please, for me. I think this one right here. Like, I do like that. Like, I do like the idea of branching out to different states or different cities. However, I do like the idea of, of it being exclusive sometimes. You know, it's like it's so limited that you can't get anywhere else but here in Quincy. That's kind of like the point of a hidden gem. Yep, you know? exactly. And just like this is awesome. Like, I don't know if you know about the history of this spot, this like restaurant, but like. Before it was Thai noodle bar, it used yeah. to be like some Chinese food restaurant. Oh, yeah. But the food wasn't really that good. It was okay. But this, it's gonna stay here forever. It was good, it has great service, it was fast, wonderful, amazing portion size for the food everything. So, this is a real deal. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's crazy how like, I mean, food was prepped out, was, was cooked out fast. So it's like saying it's fast food, but at the same time it's not fast food. And however, it's high quality. Like I said, portion wise, like you said, portion wise, it's excellent. It gets you filled up and it tastes great. And like it's crazy how like sometimes restaurants sacrifice the pacing of the food, like to make the food, over the quality. However, your restaurant manage, manages to, to, to do both at the same time perfectly. So I went online and I did a little bit of research on, on Pad Thai dishes or just Thai dishes in general. Now the reason why you guys have so many ingredients like broccoli, noodles, the, the mushrooms and the seasons is because you guys love to experiment or to have or to eat multiple things at once. 
so, so, that, so that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Alright guys, that wraps up for this episode. Thank you for having us, we totally appreciate it. And definitely check out this restaurant, Thai Noodle Bar. I definitely leave the address down below in the description box. See you guys next time on Food is Life.